My video is a combination of still pictures and video clips showing the damage to the camper shackles and other parts. If you want to know how to replace or fix your suspension, this video will not help you and you may or may not find it interesting. We have a fifth wheel toy hauler. It's a 2009. For the most part, we camp at state parks in our area. We we're going to be traveling farther, and I began to look at fixing stuff before it broke. Stuff like tires, brakes, and suspension items. I would crawl around under the camper and look at the suspension parts, shackles, and bushings, at least what I was able to see. I asked the camper place we had been taking our, our unit if they could look at the suspension and tell me if there were parts that needed to be fixed before breaking. I was surprised this request was not understood by them. The idea I wanted to fix stuff before it broke was a concept they just didn't understand. RV Improvement Systems linked us up to a shop to have their Liberty Rider Suspension and Joy Rider 2 shock system installed. As the installers remove the old suspension parts, I was able to see the damage to the shackles, bolts, and bushings. I guess this is my buyer beware. Shortly before um, I changed the suspension, uh, I asked the local camper place to please inspect my suspension. And I can say that in looking at it myself, I thought there was reason for uh, concern. But I don't think my local camper place could... Um, I don't know if they looked or they didn't see or they don't know what they're looking for, but buyer beware. I don't really understand what the bushing is supposed to do. And the, the, the bushing doesn't come all the way out. Uh, I don't know whether you can see it, but this part right here is worn and again, I don't, I don't understand. The bushing seems to protect the part that is in the middle, but it doesn't do anything for the uh, shackle part. I think the new suspension has fewer moving parts, less weak links, and I have eliminated the shackles. I called Sonny at RV Improvement Systems and he helped me understand how the Liberty Rider suspension and the Joy Rider 2 shock system will help my camper. I wanted someone to do the installation that had done this upgrade to a triple axle before and Bob from RV Improvement Systems linked us up with Twin Lakes RV Repair in LaGrange, Indiana. For us, three hours away, but very worth it. Kim from Twin Lakes was very helpful getting us on the schedule and being a facilitator between Twin Lakes, RV Improvements, and me. I don't remember hearing that my brakes would work much better, but they do. With each axle being independent, the wheels stay in better contact with the road. Also, when I go over bridge abutments, I feel the truck hit the bump, but I don't feel the camper hit the bump. If it is a bad bridge abutment, I will feel the camper hit, but it is much less than before.
aligning the wheels of the camper to the hitch pin is a key part of this process and confirming if the installer organization is going to do the alignment or who is going to do, do the alignment can be very helpful uh, in the end.